there are lots of different uh, electronic components so it's helpful especially when you come to draw and design circuits to use symbols because trying to draw the picture of a circuit with um, pictures of the individual parts would take far too long so symbols have been developed to represent each of these components so we said the components are things like the cell or battery a wire a switch the buzzer and the bulb all examples of electrical components uh, when we connect them all up in this fashion we call it an electrical circuit it would be fabulous if we draw these circuits and be able to describe them uh, in the written word rather than just make them so it's a great way to record what a circuit does and which circuit you used so here are the symbols for some very common uh, components our cell or battery has this symbol so it's a strange one isn't it a, a vertical line to the left is the long line and that's the plus to the right is a short line and that represents the minus of the battery and batteries usually have these marked on this one's definitely got a plus there anyway uh, coming round, well, we've already got a component there. Look, that's a wire, and a wire is represented the same everywhere in the circuit. It's simply a line, so a line is a wire. I suppose you could say these are the wires leading to this component, which is the switch. And the switch is a bit like a garden gate, open and close. It's quite common to see a slight variation on that look, where people deliberately highlight these two dots. And the reason for that is it's it's good to be able to show when a switch is open or closed. So that would be a closed switch. In other words, we've operated it and the contacts inside have touched together. And now the electric current can flow through that wire. So that's an interesting little variation there, but that is commonly written in books. But I don't I don't like that particularly. I prefer the one with the dots in it. The dot there and the dot there. Here we go. There's another conductor and the other um, words, the wires connecting things. And here's a symbol for our light bulb. Light bulbs were called incandescent lamps. That's a long time when they were invented. Uh, 1878, a long time ago, by um, Joseph Swan and Thomas Edison, co-inventors, I suppose. And that's an alternative symbol there, look. So I like this one because it shows what's inside the bulb. What's inside the bulb, the bulb is a tiny little fine coiled wire and it looks a bit like a pig's tail. So that there is actually inside the bulb. But people have tended to start to use more commonly this symbol, that cross in, in, in the box. So if you wanted to build up a circuit and you didn't have the components, there's nothing stopping you from designing the circuit as long as you knew the symbols. Now, there's a couple of components we haven't mentioned. We haven't mentioned our buzzer and we haven't mentioned an electric motor. So this part here, an electric motor, two little connections at the back where the electricity can go in, out. And then this part at the front is the important part for a motor, the part that spins or rotates, an axle or a spindle. So we've got a buzzer and a motor. So they need, uh, require symbols as well. And there's our symbol for the motor there. And there's our symbol for the buzzer there. So there's our buzzer. And there's our motor. Sometimes people write an arrow on the motor like that. And that indicates that the little axle spins around. These two blocks appear in the symbol because they're supposed to represent magnets. Motors have two, um, two or more magnets inside them. And the magnets can um, a, a part of how the thing actually works they cause the rotation when electricity passes through it so it's a combination of magnetism and electricity from the wires that causes the motion of a motor and there's our buzzer and the special thing we found out about buzzers is the red wire on a buzzer um, the manufacturer of this buzzer anyway has given it a red wire because that's where the plus connection is and we've indicated the plus on this strange symbol for a buzzer it's a bit like an upside down mushroom isn't it plus and minus so if we've got all these symbols and we know what the components do 
how they function, then we can start designing our own circuits. So all we've got to do is either have these drawn out on pieces of paper, or we um, can start without them, but just have a blank piece of paper and then start drawing these parts and then simply link them together and then that way we're, we're designing our circuit. So we'll look at th that in the next uh, video.